Right, so previously on the microbit videos we've had a look at the block editor um, and that editor is very much like Scratch, it's very much build it up as part of a jigsaw. Um, so we're going to look at now Code Kingdom's JavaScript. Now it's an interesting way of looking at a language because it's kind of an in-between a block editor and a proper textual language where you type things in. So it's quite quite a lot harder I would say, it's a bit more difficult than the block editor but it gives you kind of a lead in before you're going to start moving on to things like Python. Okay, so we're going to start a new project, and in this one, what we have got is we've still got our side with our micro bit on, we've still got our side with our kind of Kodi blocks on, and then we've got these sections here. Now on these sections, there are different points down the side, and you can click them to get onto different areas. Um, it works very much in terms of functions. Okay, so a function is a bit of code that you can run when called upon. So here, there's a function in it already for me called function on start, and that basically means as soon as the microbit runs, let's do something. So we're going to start by looking at how we're going to put some instructions in just to turn things on or off. So on here, on the first section, you can see there the microbit section, the first top one, that is... Um, anything that is to do specifically with the micro bit and not coding uh, or programming. So all the other things you click on are generally to do with, particularly those two, to do with programming languages, so any programming language. This top one is to do with specifically the BBC micro bit. So I've got this option here where I can drag in my micro bit and I can say X and Y. So it's micro bit on X and Y. I click the arrow and it these options, but I'm going to pick a number. So I'm going to pick one, tick the Y, I'm going to pick three, and on here you'll notice there's the numbers on here, so X1 is there, Y3 is there, so that is the light that should turn on. So I run it, by clicking the run down here, there we go, that light has turned on. Uh, if I want to bin that, I click and I drag down here to bin it, and I'm now going to put say a value, and, I'm going to, and I get an, a choice of values. I can have a string, which is a bit of writing. I can have a number, which is any number, and I can have a boolean, which is true or false, yes or no. We're going to worry about string. I'm just going to write in hello, and then run it, and that, like before, will come up with the words hello. Right, I am now, I'll add something in underneath, so I'm going to drag in this draw pattern and now if I click the arrow down I can choose the lights that I want to appear on uh, so let's have just like sort of a checkerboard sort of pattern tick it to say it's done and now I've got a pattern there so when I run this it doesn't appear to want to run it will now say hello and then my checkerboard pattern appears. So that is the basis of getting in different bits of code. So the code we've started before in blocks was drag it in, make it this appear, make it say this, uh, make these lights turn on, and this is how you do it in the Code Kingdom's version of JavaScript by dragging on the blocks that you want. So have a go at just trying to do some basic things, getting lights and things to turn on in the Code Kingdom's editor.